Hey everyone, Alex here with Systems Refine. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't use a Gmail account to sign up for Asana. And to do that, I need to kind of explain the difference between a workspace and an organization. A workspace is like having one team and you can't create additional teams. Um, and if you have multiple projects, this list can get very, very long. But in an organization, you can have multiple teams. And if you have multiple projects in multiple teams, you can see that you can actually downsize it so that it looks a little bit cleaner and it doesn't just become a big jumbled mess. If you're part of many workspaces, you'll have to cycle through all of them to make sure you complete all your tasks. You can have notifications set up so that you know when a new task is assigned to you for every workspace, but it's still possible that tasks can be forgotten about if you don't look at every single workspace. I did, however, create a video that shows you how to get a task to show up in your workspace or organization when a task is created in a different one. And I'll add a card here so you can view it. Another problem with workspace is that your team members will be able to see all the projects and have access to them as well. Uh, unless, of course, you set it to private. Whereas in an organization, if um, whatever team that they're assigned to is the only projects that they're going to see. So if you have a marketing team and a sales team in one organization, only the marketing people will see the marketing projects and the sales team will only see the sales projects. But in a workspace, the marketing team will see the, their projects, the sales team's projects, the business projects, the client projects, and so on. So why shouldn't you use a Gmail account to sign up for Asana? Well, if you do, you'll automatically be set up for a workspace and you don't have the option to switch to an organization. If you have a personal email domain or a business email domain, you'll be able to set up your account as an organization. If you don't have one though, don't worry. A workspace will work fine and there are plenty of workarounds to make a workspace be an effective project management tool for a business. Well, that's my two cents on this subject. I hope you found this video valuable and if you did, go ahead and click on that like button and click on subscribe so you don't miss out on any other Asana Tips videos. And make sure you check out my previous video that's on the screen as well.